Lewis Hamilton, the seven-time world champion, breaks his silence on the infamous Abu Dhabi incident that shook the motorsport world to its core. Hamilton reveals the raw emotions and inner turmoil that followed what many consider the most controversial finish in Formula One history. I was raised to get up again and again, to keep your head up, Hamilton recalls, but nothing could have prepared me for the gut-wrenching betrayal I felt that day. Hamilton discloses his immediate reaction after the race. I went to Max to congratulate him without realising the influence that would have. Describing the pivotal moment as transformative, Hamilton's replied, I felt like a small version of me was watching. This is the defining moment of my life, these next 50 metres that I walk. There I either fall and die, or I get up. The British driver also addressed the lasting impact of Abu Dhabi. The scar of Abu Dhabi is here and there will always be this memory. His candid admission suggests that the wounds run deeper than previously thought, potentially fueling his hunger for redemption in the seasons to come. Despite the controversy and apparent injustice, Hamilton claims to have found peace with the outcome. When I see a clip of it, I still feel it, but I'm at peace with it. Hamilton also vehemently denies any desire for revenge. It was never about revenge, or for reparation. You can work harder and be even more precise and better with moving forward. Hamilton likens the Abu Dhabi incident to a first love gone wrong. Ultimately, this feeling never leaves you completely. It's like thinking about your first love. She will always be this one first love, and also the first heartache. The Abu Dhabi incident continues to cast a long shadow over Hamilton's career and the sport as a whole. Will he rise from the ashes to reclaim his throne, or has the fire of controversy permanently scarred the legacy of one of F1's greatest drivers?